It is a course in which we look at traditional Jewish prayers side by side with modern poems that draw on the language of the liturgy. It's an opportunity to learn something about Jewish prayer, uh, to learn something about uh, prayer services in a synagogue. It's also a course which is, um, uh, I hope, of interest to students who love poetry, and particularly to students who don't love poetry or think that they don't like prayer. It's a chance to have an open mind and to come see some of the, of the interesting dimensions. This isn't going to be your fiddler on the roof story of what Jewish life in Europe looks like. We're going to be going from Amsterdam through Warsaw to Salonika. So we're going to meet workers. We're going to meet rabbis who want to be revolutionaries. We're going to meet Russian Jewish grandmothers in the late 19th century. We're going to be meeting kids in Poland uh, between the two world wars who at one and the same time talk about moving to mandate Palestine and becoming a Zionist and talking about how much they love being Polish and belonging to Poland. So in this course, we're not just going to look at textbooks or what historians say, we're actually going to be introduced to a whole range of voices from the past. That's going to be through poetry, through literature, through music, and through film. Well, the Talmud takes as its subject a, a really wide variety of ideas. It talks about legal material, it discusses ritual, it discusses ethics and history. Uh, there's narrative content in there as well. It doesn't read like other books. It doesn't read like a history book. It doesn't read like the Bible. But once you sort of break through the ice and find out uh, what's going on underneath the surface, I think people find um, the content underneath the surface very familiar. What kinds of lives we're supposed to lead, what kind of people we're supposed to be, what sorts of relationships we ought to cultivate with our fellow human beings, um, what it means to live an ethical life. Those are ideas that I think are eternal, as I think are ideas that are uh, incredibly accessible to, to students of, of any skill level.